Before we delve into the new material in this module, let's take a moment to recap what we have covered so far. This is a good time to recap because this is the last module in this series of this first phase of the course. The first phase of this course has been very much focused in on building and managing multiple Django models. So far, we have learned how to build and manage multiple Django models. This included configuring fields with various options like date time choices, default values, unique constraints, as well as establishing primary and foreign key relationships. From there, our journey continued with database structural testing using PyTest, where we created and validated test cases for table existence, column properties, relationships, and constraints. And then finally, in the previous module, we transitioned to Postgres SQL, setting up and connecting a Django project using Docker, managing credentials, and implementing database level constraints and triggers. So each module so far has tried to build upon the previous, ensuring a solid understanding of Django models and Postgres SQL database management. In this module, we simply delve deeper into the four pillars that we have already introduced, Django models, structural testing, the Postgres database, and Docker. In this module, we build upon our previous learning of Django, structural testing, Postgres SQL and Docker before then moving on to the next phase of this course where we start to look at how to actually create data, insert data into our database. More specifically, there are three core areas in this module or learning outcomes. First, we're going to learn how to create and manage Postgres SQL schemas. This is going to be an additional element which we can then feed into our data structural testing. In this module, we will also gain hands-on experience in creating and managing test databases using Docker API. And then finally, we're going to create a set of tests to validate our database structures. Whereas before we created a set of structural validation tests for our Django models, we're now going to build various structural validation tests on our database tables. This is the database tables that we have migrated over to our Postgres database. Now, this module is all about the journey rather than the destination of actually building structural tests. So although the end game here is to build structure tests, you can see from the topics that we are going to cover in this module that we are building upon our previous knowledge and moving deeper into the subject areas of Docker, PyTest, Postgres databases, and the Django RM.